We're getting hit for sure. Something nice. Oh yeah. Hey there, fishing girl. I'm just so pumped today because we have a big storm coming and I didn't think I was gonna be able to fish at all today, but it looks like I'm gonna have maybe an hour, two hours to test out brand new equipment. Uh, if I could drum roll, I, <laughs> I would because I'm so excited to show you new equipment that was bought for me as we're starting Fishing Girl and I can't wait to put it to use and see how it works and you get to be firsthand as I'm testing it out today. All right, so we'll see you out on the beach. We are out on the beach here. I've got one line out so far. I don't think anything's happening with that, but this is what I'm so excited about. We have got Fishing Mate Senior, I do have a second axle of wheels that's going to be put on this pretty soon. I don't know how soon, but uh, that's going to really help because I noticed as I was pulling it, it did, uh, you know, it does get, when you have a long trek like I did, it gets a little heavy. I just brought three poles out today, going to test things out, just kind of seeing how this new cart is. I do need a, a full floor on this. I, I can see how the the metal floor would be really super helpful because things want to tip around even though I've got the bright pink fishing girl it just screams fishing girl uh, cart liner <laughs> that I love so all right well we'll talk about it more in a little bit for now I'm gonna get these lines out in the water and see what we can do okay so because this is braid because braid really tangles easily with other line and it's a pain to get it undone. I'm just gonna reel this in, but because sometimes I have no idea that there's a fish on, I'm just gonna roll. Well, the bugs are terrible this morning out here. All right, nothing. So I wanna talk a minute about how, I'm watching my polls too, but a minute how uh, I'm, getting items sponsored so as a lot of you know we started fishing girl um, actually started it in december and we've been just doing a lot of groundwork laying a lot of foundational things for um, what we're getting ready to do uh, i'm going to be doing beach charters also um, going to have a membership community for women where they can converse and all kind of fun stuff in there that I have planned that I can't tell you about yet. But um, the first stages of this though is getting items sponsored. So um, the cart that you're going to see in these videos, that item was sponsored. Um, the the sand spikes were given to me. I consider that as being kind of sponsored because those are the items that I was going to have to buy. I was going to need those. And I um, had a friend that just said, hey, <laughs> would you like these? Um, and then the person who sponsored the cart, I'm so thankful because I'm able to do things a lot more professionally now and um, with a lot greater excellence. And uh, so I'm really happy, really excited about that. And um, so as we're testing these things out, I'm going to show you different aspects about the items that have been sponsored. And um, if you have any questions about it, about its functionality, about maybe something, if you're thinking about buying one and you have a question about it, um, for sure, send me a, a message. You can email me at kathy at fishinggirlflorida.com. You I keep forgetting. I got a camera. <laughs> you can hear me. Oh, I do have a fish. Oh gosh, the smallest shark I've ever seen. <laughs> He's so cute. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You're welcome. It's going to be in your head the rest of the day. We're going to take a look at this little... I think it's a shark nose. Maybe. Put him up to the camera. Shark identification, please. He's a little guy. Man, he's cute. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't be cute if he if he bit me. Let me angle this so I, you can see me as I get this out of his mouth. There he is. I won't sing the song again, I promise. 
some of you are still singing it. <laughs> still thinking about it. Look at this little guy. No, no, no. There he is. I'm gonna get him back in the water. So we're gonna rebate with salted shrimp and see what else we can get. So the salted shrimp is gone. We're gonna rebate. See if we can't get whatever is stealing it off of my line. So even with that smaller cart, I'm used to the way that things fit in there. I'm used to like kind of the way that I, I had a system for it. <laughs> so I've got to develop a new system with this new cart. Because um, things flap around a lot, I notice, without the hard bottom. visitor. <laughs> Hello. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> oh, maybe he smelled. I got, I got bait here. I, I oh. probably should put it away. <laughs> no, no, I shouldn't have left it out. It's all right, buddy. Good. How are you? Good. So this dog came up. <laughs> you saw him a minute ago. He's sniffing all my stuff. I'm like, what is going on? And then I realize, oh, I've got like a mullet tail. I've got my bait sitting right out on top of my cart. So he's sniffing all this stuff and like getting ready to, to go to town on it. I don't know what happened. Oh, well, this is what happened. Um, I must not have had a good knot tied or I just, um, maybe had reused that rig so much that the, uh, the knot was loose, but um, lost the whole rig and the Sputnik. It's a sad day. This swivel is perfectly fine. It's, it's not rusted or anything, so that just tells me that maybe my knot wasn't the greatest. Um, so I will have to pay attention to that in the future. So I wanted to talk for just a minute today about how you can become a sponsor for Fishing Girl. If there are things that you see that maybe I'm not using yet and you'd like to have me try out, if it's something maybe that you uh, produce or um, that you know that would really help me out or maybe it's something I mentioned that I could use or that I don't have yet, um, consider sponsoring that item for Fishing Girl. Also, as you know, if you're a business owner, there's all kind of startup fees, there's permits, there's fees, there's um, city, not licenses, but like permits, things like that, that there's insurance, all these different types of things that cost a lot of money to get a business going. So if you feel led to, um, if you wanna help and jump on the bandwagon with, with Fishing Girl and help sponsor some of these costs, let me know. Uh, go to my website, fishinggirlflorida.com, F-I-S-H-I-N-G-I-R-L-F-L-O-R-I-D-A, fishinggirlflorida.com. Um, you can contact me there, Kathy at fishinggirlflorida.com. And uh, let me know. We also have a contact form at the bottom. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, there's a contact us form. You can just fill that out and let me know what you'd like to help with. And let's see how we can, uh, we'll communicate with you and see what we can do. Oh, let me get this on. Something is tugging my last line. All right, I'm waiting to feel this feeling all day. There's nothing like the feeling of a fish on your line. I'm going to back up because I really want to keep tension on this as it comes into the wash, whatever it is. Well, it's a catfish. I might have something on that middle line too. Well, we got sharks and catfish, so tells me this is probably dirty water. Got this hard head here. 
like always, gonna be careful. Grab him under the arms. <laughs> we say arms. <laughs> under his front fins. And that also holds down that middle fin that I guess is called pectoral fin. So that doesn't get you. Oh, we're getting hit. Real quick. Anything's on there or not? It is, it's running in quick. Yeah, popped off where it was never on. But, uh, let's see. We're getting hit for sure. Something nice. Oh, yeah. There's definitely fish here. And the dolphins wouldn't be coming in so close. Okay, I don't want to lose this thing. I'm going to back up as I reel. Keep the tension on the line so it doesn't pop off in the wash. Oh yeah, I see it. I can't tell what it is yet. It's fighting. It's right in that wash. Oh, is that what I think it is? I got a stingray. <laughs> Most people don't like getting stingrays, but this would be my first. Ooh. And we're going to watch out for that barb. You got something to eat it off with? I've got a uh, pair of pliers, yeah. Sure, yeah, this is actually my first my first stingray. Right. So uh, yeah, I wanna stay clear of that barb. Yeah. <laughs> Get a little Should he be upside down? Yeah. Alrighty. And if you need like I've got a mallet, if we wanna like use something to These are a little bit rusted, but they still work. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, thank you. Yeah, everybody talks about uh, doing the stingray shuffle. <laughs> yeah. I can see why he's the same exact color as the sand. Okay. It's coming in actually. Yeah, it's coming in. So, thank you. Yep, you too. All right. I'm going to just watch this guy. This is very cool. Okay, so the one the water comes in again. Have another good wave here. Meantime, I'll get this thing ready. I believe he got that cut bait, that piece of mullet. All right, here comes some more water. Let's watch him. Oh, it's not enough. I want to help him, but I also don't want to get. <laughs> Caught with that barb, so. If it doesn't come up quick enough, I'll uh, I'll grab those pliers again and pull them out a bit more. Here we go. Oh, not this way, dude. Not this way. Let's go the other way. I'm gonna help him. All right, because he's just going to get planted here. All right, guy. I'm not trying to hurt you. Nope. Oh. OK. 
Okay, here comes some water. Uh, it's not, not close enough. I don't like leaving these lines on them. Come on, buddy. Out there. Just a little bit more water. Here we go. Go on, dude. He's got to revive a bit. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. You keep going, dude. You got this. Check my other lines while I'm waiting. Yeah, get on out there, buddy. Okay, he's getting some more water here. Hopefully he just takes off. if he knows I'm still here or if he's just weak. Come on, buddy. Get on out there. Get on out there. We can get him to head back out. That'd be great. Looks like he's, he's heading on out now. But I believe we will pack this one up and uh, start preparing to leave the beach. I don't like how those clouds look. Well, as you can see behind me, we have got a storm. I can't tell which direction it's going, but I'm gonna be packing up soon. So we didn't get like, awesome fish today <laughs> because we got a shark stingray and catfish but and that's everyone says oh these are trash fish this is dirty water but that was my first stingray so that was kind of cool but i'm super pumped about having my first stingray and uh gotta start somewhere so i want to talk to you for a few minutes about this new cart that i've got this is the fish and mate senior this is actually a sponsored item so someone who uh, knew that i needed equipment for my business had told me hey um, i would like to sponsor this item for you i'd like to get this for you and uh, it's make a huge difference already um, just the ease of being able to to pull this on the sand even with just the two wheels we've got another set of wheels with an axle that we're going to be putting on there and that's going to be make it even easier um, and then who knows what customizations we'll have going from there but um, I just wanted to point out the, the fact that it's got these big balloon tires uh, these are originally sold with the the um, pier tires the big black ones they look kind of like um, tires that you would have on your lawnmower but on steroids <laughs> but these balloon tires make it so much easier to go on the sand i'll be also testing this down at flagler beach because that's where i fish a lot and the sand there is much different than here this is really hard packed sand the sand there is a lot softer so we're going to test it out there if you're interested in getting one of these i know locally here in uh, the flagler county volusia county um, if you're in St. John's County, like in St. Augustine or Jacksonville, you can get this cart at the Fish Bites Trading Post. They've got them there. Um, there's several places that sell them online. You can check your local bait and tackle store. I always like to keep things local if possible, um, but check your prices and things. But I've got, got the cart liner at um, Blue Water Outriggers, and so um, they had a nice pink one there instead of the blue. I was really happy to get that because to me that screams fishing girl <laughs> if you're interested in sponsoring an item there's still things that i need for this business to get it started to get it up and going if you're interested in sponsoring an item um, just let me know contact me and i'll let you know what we're still in need of and you can uh, decide what you want to help with so 
but uh, I would definitely, definitely, y'all, y'all saw that other cart that I had. I used that thing for about a year and a half and just <laughs> lugged that thing everywhere. And it was a lot of work. It was not easy going up and down stairs with it, um, having to carry it and muscle it. Um, I mean, it's a good workout, but <laughs> if you don't have the strength to use something like that, then you're gonna need something like the Fish and Mate. They have a smaller one called the Junior. This is the Senior, and I highly recommend it. So we've had a fun time here today. I've been testing out this new cart, still testing out things like these sand spikes and the best way to uh, get them in the sand and use them properly. Um, so we've got some rain on the way. Those clouds are looking darker and darker. We've got some dark clouds on the other side here. So I'm gonna pack it up and uh, we've caught, I caught a uh, stingray, my first stingray today. So that was fun, a little catfish, tiny little baby shark and uh, had a lot of fun. Oh, I think I got something just sitting on here. Didn't know it was there. Ah, uh, another catfish. All right, same thing as the other guy. Just behind the fins. And there we go. Just going back. She's all packed up, ready to head back in. I'm just going to put this bag on me because right now I don't have a way to really secure it too well. And this is all it takes. Just gonna turn around. Look at how much smoother that is. My coffee's not even spilling. <laughs> So when we're talking about items to sponsor, I know I mentioned earlier in the video that if you wanted to sponsor an item, um, just from my experience today on the beach, there's a few items that would really help me out a lot, um, especially if I'm coming out to a beach like, like this where I've got to walk a long ways to get to where I'm going to be fishing. And um, there's times when I want to move down the beach and it's just so burdensome to push or pull, well really to pull, I can't push anything yet, to pull that little cart or even this cart to pull it along. Um, I had to switch arms quite a bit. You know, I'm not a guy, <laughs> obviously. So I don't have the upper body strength, you know, maybe I can start doing some push-ups, yeah, and, and get a little more fit. But, um, you know, I'm, I think, pretty average woman. A few things that can really help me out a lot. Um, I've got those second tires. We're going to be putting those on. But I really could use um, the push type of handle. So once I get those second tires on, I will be able to push the car, not pull it. And um, when the, the handle right now is very low, so it's still going to have to almost be a pull handle. So I'm, I'm looking to get a raised handle that that pushes. I'm not sure the cost on that or how, how much it costs to install. Something else that might help so I don't have to carry my bag on my shoulder because that gets heavy after a while too um, would be uh, one of those side racks that kind of goes off over the wheels and it carries the sand spikes. So when, if the sand spikes or beach chairs, they act, you can do them on both sides and then you've got chairs that you can bring. You've got sand spikes that you can have. Um, and that would free up a lot of space in my cart for me to put my bag in there and that way I won't have to carry that on my shoulder. Those are a couple of items that I noticed just from today um, that I will eventually need to upgrade. So if that's something that you would want to help me out with, send me a message. Go to fishinggirlflorida.com and uh, send me a message there. The website will be listed at the end and also it'll be in the description of the video if you wanted to go there and help me out. So I appreciate it so much. Well, I hope you enjoyed my uh, surf fishing adventure today. Didn't catch the desirable fish that we were really looking for, but it was always fun catching the little sharks and stingray for the first time. But um, if you enjoyed this video, if you find value in it, if you learned something, feel free to um, subscribe. Please subscribe. It helps me out a lot.
and uh, share this with your with your fishing friends. Also, you can check out my website www.fishinggirlflorida.com. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there's other type of content that you would like for me to to share in the future. Um, I'm always up for a little bit of a challenge and uh, would love to try new things. I've got some ideas up my sleeves. Well, I don't have any sleeves on right now, but I got some ideas rolling around in my head for future videos. As always, have an awesome day, tight lines, and uh, we'll see you later, fishing girl.